next hours, another door will open for locals trying to get help after Hurricane Irma. The Department of Children and Families abruptly closing the gates on the last day of the event in Coco this afternoon, calling this huge crowd a safety concern. News 6's Eric Sandoval is live at the Coco Expo Center tonight. Eric, people were turned away? Yeah, they really were. And you know, right behind me, Matt, just about 90 minutes ago, there was a lot of people here. So many so, DCF told me today that at midday, they had already helped 25,000 people make those applications. So what was this safety threat? We went and asked them. Maria Ronellis and Melissa Carrion say they were the lucky ones. They say they stood in line in the heat for five and a half hours today to apply for emergency food assistance money from the state. Was it worth it? Yeah, it was worth it because I got the help I needed to replenish my food. We saw State Road 520 lined with cars driven here by other people looking for that same help, but it ended two hours early. I didn't know it was closed down early, so I came and I was standing and then they closed it. Karen Grove, who's disabled, was needing help to care for her family at home. We watched tonight as she was turned away at the gate. You, you, you've done reports on the uh, river damage. Right. Right. We live on the river, so in, I live in a mobile home, so you can imagine. <laughs> walked inside the Coco Expo Center to find room after room filled with people still in line, hundreds of them. And we tracked down DCF to ask why they were cutting things short. Yeah, that's the last decision we ever want to make. It's a tough one to make. Spokeswoman Christy Gray told us today was their last day and their busiest, and time wasn't their friend. They were concerned about them getting back to their cars safely. It gets super dark out here at night. Um, so very concerned about them crossing highways uh, to get back to their vehicles safely. Now, a lot of people here in Brevard County say they still need to make those applications. So I asked DCF tonight, how are these people going to get results? How are they going to make these applications? They told me they're going to have to go to neighboring counties in order to do that. We put a calendar list of those counties when those events are happening on our website at clickorlando.com. We are live in Cocoa tonight. Eric Sandoval, News 6.